How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. It's my last day in San Diego today, uh, sadly. Uh, time flies when you're having fun, you know. But um, yeah, all good things have to come to an end eventually. And I, uh, yeah, I was packing up my uh, suitcase, ran out of room, bought too much beer. Not gonna leave my clothes behind, so I figured the best thing to do is review a few. You know, so uh, yeah, uh, today's beer is going to be from Modern Times Beer out here in San Diego. Um, it's a New England IPA coming in at 7.2% alcohol by volume. This is Counter Magic. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Absolutely love it. Um, don't know the uh, hops to this one. I uh, did know them, but I totally forgot what they were. I know it's brewed with both pellets and lupulin powder. Um, I believe Citra Lupulin Powder, and there's Denali, maybe Simcoe, maybe uh, Idaho 7 in it, but there's like six or seven hops in this one. So um, yeah, sorry about that, I'm going to post the uh, uh, hop list in the description um, when I'm done the review, and yeah, uh, yeah, pours a beautiful uh, New England um, straight up orange juice kind of color. It does look like orange juice in the glass. Um, maybe a hint of like pineapple juice in there as well. But um, yeah, zero head to really speak of. There's like a little bit of bubbles on the uh, side of the glass there, but not a lot. So um, yeah, looks good. Let's get an aroma. is like pungent grapefruit orange juice like so many tropical fruits uh i want to say some sort of sort of a berry in the background as well and just sweet uh tropical fruits uh really dank herbaceous resinous qualities like a really earthiness um Yeah, that smells awesome. Let's try it. Cheers. That is damn, damn fine. Tropical fruits, four days. It's got that huge earthiness. I'm trying to put my tongue on, you know. Um... I've been getting it in uh, New England IPA, IPAs lately. It's like a, almost a mushroom flavor, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hate saying that, but it's got this like really uh, herbaceous, like uh, earthy, uh, dank quality to it. It's resinous, dank. You get a really beautiful, uh, like numbing grapefruit peel, like biting into a grapefruit, that kind of bitterness. Uh, right away, but then yeah, that earthiness, tons of tropical fruit. Um, that's a delicious beer. The mouthfeel on this is phenomenal. It's like that medium, medium full kind of uh, like really luxurious body, you know. It's decadent, it's a uh, creamy, it's smooth, it's soft. But that bitterness just to really balance it all out. Um, it's a really intense, uh, aggressive beer, but it does have a nice balance to it, so you can just keep on drinking and drinking, you know? <sighs> yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. I guess there is lots of carbonation to this because I'm burping out really bad right now, but uh, yeah, awesome brew. Um, Counter Magic, Modern Times definitely worth picking up if uh, it's available to you if you live in San Diego area because I don't think they distribute much of their New England IPAs outside of San Diego and that area you know sadly um, they need to put out more of these um, they are phenomenal so uh, yeah I got a couple more to review from them uh, some of their couple more New England IPAs to review from them as well as a, a churro stout so that should be interesting but uh yeah till then 
counter magic will do. I'm gonna give this one a, uh, I'd say like 98. This is like, again, trillion level. All the beers I've had from modern times, all the New England IPAs, I can't see much wrong with it, you know? If it might, or it could be maybe a little less bitter and a little bit more fruity. But other, other than that, I'm just nitpicking. I'm being a dick. You know, so yeah, 97, 98, that area, A plus rating for me. Phenomenal beer, that's Counter Magic, Modern Times. Let me know what y'all think of this beer. Uh, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.